I had it done when I was probably about 19 or 20. And I guess by the time I was like 25, I didn't like it anymore. And then by the time I was 30, I hated it. I think it was virtually one of those things, you know, when you go into a shop and say, I'll have that one. Well, I've spent the last 15 years of my life as a photographer, but um, now I've had a career change and now I've opened a shop, which is um, antiques and design and art and things like that. Sometimes I'd even, like, on the beach, I'd just put, like, a, a Band-Aid on it or something. You know, my dislike of it grew. Um, and also, I keep dating boys with really good tattoos. <laughs> it's really bad. And now I've had this hideous thing on me, so eventually I'm getting rid of it. There's many reasons why people get cover-ups. Some things may be unsociable, some things may be because of a loved one that they don't love anymore. James was amazing. The reason I went there was because I felt really confident with him. And I just liked his ideas. You've obviously got a Japanese dragon there with uh, two symbols. I think the best, obviously, you wanted an anger, a swallow, and some old school things around it. Because it's a cover-up, it's quite, you know, a difficult procedure, I guess, for them. And, you know, it's their name going towards something like that, so it has to look good. I do a lot of cover-ups because I really enjoy it. To see the person happy afterwards gives me a lot of pleasure. I live by the sea. I come from a naval family. And I just love, you know, what an anchor looks like and what it symbolises. It's quite a personal thing, so. One of my friends is, is a journalist. And we were on the beach in Italy, he'd come to stay at my house. And he was like, oh Ian, you could be in my book. And I was like, what's your book? And he said, bad tattoos. <laughs> I was like, really? But I wasn't going to make the same mistake again. I decided like, you know, two years ago probably, I'm going to have an anchor. And then it was just, OK, let's see if in a year's time I still want to have an anchor. OK, yeah, I still do. Another year. Yeah, still want an anchor. Yeah, this one really hurt. With this one, there was lots of shading and different things. So he kept changing the needle. About two hours in, he changed to this one that was really different. I remember thinking, I was like, oh, a new form of pain. I have a tattoo of my mum's signature. And after she died, I just wanted it on me. And I wanted it somewhere where you never saw it. So it's under my watch. I always feel like she's close to me when I look down and see her name. I think they just kind of represent a kind of time in your life, don't they, you know, and it, maybe there's a reason I got rid of it this year and I didn't wait another year or something, you know. It's, it does feel like, you know, it's symbolic of something. Sometimes you build up friends with customers. There'll always be something between me and him because I've marked them for life.